Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and um, today I'm doing a heart. Look at this. I found this at the warehouse and um, I was so excited. I was like, oh, a heart, a heart. And then I brought it home and I was like, oh, what do I do with a heart? <laughs> now it is very thin MDF. Um, it's I don't know what five millimeter thick MDF so I have gessoed both sides with very thick old gesso which I've then had to sand <laughs> and then on the back I have put a coat of my house paint that I use as my white base just to give it a bit of a more of a prettiness anyway so on the um, house coated paint side I have um, I've just done the Access U logo, the big green and yellow and brown kuru. And I was like, oh, you know what? A heart is like two kurus. So that's what I'm going to do. So instead of these being different um, paints, they're actually going to be the same. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. So, what am I going to use? And um, I've still got a bit of a fixation on my um, this color. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. It's Elzerin Crimson Hue from Liquitex Basics. Um, and my Payne's Grey. Um, so, okay, so. What are we doing? Uh, so these are the. So this is the color combo. And we're going to go for. This is a little. Um, this is actually what gave me the idea. This is a little kuru painting I did yesterday when a friend turned up and goes, How do you do that? And so I just did this for him to show him what I do. And I saw that and I was like, huh, check it out. I like it. So let's get pouring. Um, I'm going to start both of these tins off. I'm going to do the tins identical, all right, so that um, but hopefully both sides will be similar. Put in the white in the bottom. Trying to get the same amount in in the same directions. Um, now, hmm, what I actually am going to do is I'm going to put because when I did that one I showed you, I just put the um, blue in the bottom and then the red on the top of that, and it ended up sort of being. Not very well mixed, actually. Hmm. What am I doing here? What if I did a dirty pour rather than a layered pour? Then they'll be really different. Ah, pock and pod, pock and pod, pock and pod. Pock and pod's the short version of the clearing statement um, that we use in Access Consciousness. Check it out at theclearingstatement.com. Um... Layered or dirty pour, layered or dirty pour, lay layered's lighter. Okay, let's do layered. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do where did my paints grey go? I'm going to do a little bit of Payne's Grey so it doesn't take over. And then I'm going to do another layer of the red. The Parisian hue, crimson hue thing. I'm dribbling it down the side so that they kind of get layered that way. Oh, that didn't do that. Oops, 
They're different. No, they're not allowed to be different. Ah! Everywhere I've decided what it should look like, how it should come out, and what's required to make it come out like that, I just draw and uncreate that. A little bit of white, just because I can. Just because I can. Just because it feels right. Okay, let's move that. Now, having done the last one and had got paint all over the canvas <laughs> you'll see I learnt it's wood day today have you noticed um, oh look at those big lumps who put lumps in my paint how dare you get those out where did that go One. And where was the other one? There. Do -do -do. Come on, you can do this. There we go. Don't make it go down the other sides. Make sure all the bits are covered. There we go. Okay, so now that we have white all over everything, let me wash my hands. Right. Hands washed, white done, and I'm not silly enough to think that I can do two cans at the same time, although I just did that the right way, maybe I could, so truth, could I get this right the first time, yes, no, no, okay, cool, let's do it, come on, I'm going to come in at the bottom, and Just like that and let's see if I can do the same on the other side and at the bottom and ground how's that is it gonna spread as much ah, it's not the same oh my OCD is going insane Right, let's blow it. Blow it, let's blow it. Let's see what we can create here. With my little straw. Oh, where did the red go? I don't know, where did the red go? My red disappeared. Where'd it go? Okay, that's what it wants to be. That's what it's going to be. Give me the side. Well, they're definitely different. There's a lot more black in this one. And Payne's grey. Just going to thicken that out a bit. Oh, there's all sorts of points of view and judgments that are going to be created by the fact that this side's darker than this side. And oh, how much judgment am I willing to receive for my art? <laughs> how funny is that? I quite like that. What do you guys reckon?
Mm, very different. Playing, Michelle. I just don't like that there's not much colour in there. Let's just bring some more colour in. There we go, that's better. It's now a lot of paint in that spot. I'm definitely going to put this one under a box to dry over several days. Oh, it's getting warm here in New Zealand at the moment. We are coming to the end of spring, heading into summer. And um, yeah, definitely. I like it. I like it a lot. Bring this one down a bit more. Okay. I like it. Do you guys like it? Can I see it? I just realised I never showed you up close and personal the, uh, the kuru. Alright, I'm going to take my gloves off. And... Get you down. So there she is in all her glory. As you can see, she's quite different on both sides. But we've got some lovely lacing. Look at that bit there. That's pretty. Quite enjoying how in most of my paintings I get this area. It is a very cool bit, and then leading up to the white. It looks like some internal organy thing. If you look, if you just just saw that bit, it's like, oh, that looks like body. <laughs> and then over the other side, there's a lot more black. And you guys watched me pour these; they're, they're almost identical in the amount. Of um of each color. I like the way the oh, come on. I like the way they're swirling in this bit. Come on, I know it doesn't look like it's visible. What I've found is sometimes when it's looking a bit broken like this bit is. Will uh, not be able to focus. But my focus doesn't. Let's 
Okay. So what do you guys get? Does it require to be torched? Yes or no? Yes. I'm getting a yes. Alright, let's torch it. So, when I go yes, no, yes, no, I'm looking to see which one has a lighter sense to it. Which one has more expansion and joy. I'm just going to zoom you in from the tripod so you can see we've got a whole heap more ha <laughs> check out that it's like it it's got fingers <laughs> that's funny so there's a whole heap more cells shown up a whole heap more interesting stuff and I still like it what would it take for it to dry looking amazingly fabulous? So, thank you so much for joining me here at Mickey Art. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe so that you can get notifications of when um, I post new videos. And also, once we hit the thousand subscriber mark, I'm going to be facilitating a Unleashing Your Creativity class. So, um, if that sounds like fun to you, oh, check out the tin. How cool is that? Um, if that sounds like something you might be interested in, then um, check out the link in the description below um, and sign up. And once we hit that thousand subscriber mark, then we will be running that class. So... How does it get any better and how much fun can you have playing <laughs> as these little fingers keep expanding they're growing they're growing cool all right guys thanks again have fun and i'll catch you in another video bye